Qualtrics video, we're going to go over how to add a skip or display logics to a question. So we're first going to start with skip logic. So skip logics are used in a survey when you want a respondent or respondents to skip either a question, a section of questions, or even the entire survey, depending on how they answer specific questions. For example, skip logics are commonly used at the beginning of a survey in a filter question to filter out those who do not qualify to take the survey. So in this example, we're going to shift gears a little bit, and we're going to pretend that we are making a survey about cable TV viewing habits. So a skip logic question can be used to ensure that those taking the survey actually have a cable subscription. So we're going to write the question. Do you currently have a cable subscription? And we're going to make our choices yes or no. So if a respondent were to answer no to this question, then you don't want them taking the survey because they won't be able to answer the questions related to cable if they don't currently have a cable subscription. So in order to add the skip logic, we're going to go to the right hand side of the screen and we're going to select add skip logic. And this little menu is going to come right below the question. So for a condition, we are going to select no. And what this is basically doing is telling Qualtrics what to do if a certain answer to this question is selected. So in this case, we're telling Qualtrics that if the condition no is answered, so if someone answers no to this question, then we want that respondent to skip to the end of the survey. So you select your condition here. We want to say is selected, and we want them to skip to the end of the survey, but if you wanted them to skip somewhere else, you could select that here. But in this case, we're going to have them skip to the end of the survey. Once you've entered the logic, go ahead and select done and it's going to display right below the question. If you need to make any edits to the logic, you can go to Options and Edit Skip Logic. And here you can make any changes necessary to the logic in the question. So another type of logic that is used in surveys is display logic. And display logics are used if you want to ask follow-up questions based on how someone answered a different question in the survey. So in sticking with our TV theme, let's say we wanted to ask what types of services people use to watch video content. So I'm going to create a new question, and we're going to ask, which service do you use to watch video content? And we'll make our answers cable TV, Netflix, and Hulu. And for the sake of this video and this example, we're just going to keep this a single answer multiple choice question. So now let's say we wanted to know what someone's favorite show on Netflix was. However, we only want people who use Netflix to watch video content to answer this question. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new text entry question. And we're going to ask, what is your favorite Netflix show? So this is where we're going to add a display logic. So to create a display logic, again, you're going to go to the right hand side of the screen and we're going to select add display logic. But when you're adding a display logic, you want to add the logic to the question that will be displayed depending on the answer. So like I said, in this case, we want question 25, what is your favorite Netflix show, to be displayed if someone answered Netflix to question 24. So we're going to go ahead and select Add Display Logic, and the menu is going to pop up on the screen. So again, you're going to tell Qualtrics to display this question if certain criteria are met. So we want to display this question if question 24, so we're going to select that, so which service do you use to watch video content? We're going to select our answer, which again in this case is going to be Netflix, is selected. So again we're telling Qualtrics, display question 25 if someone answered question 24 with Netflix, and that's basically what this statement is saying. So you can add more than one condition here to the question, or to the logic, and to do that you're just going to hit this green plus button right here. This will come up again. We only need one logic for this question, so we're not going to need to add one. So to delete the logic or the condition, just go ahead and click this button right here. And this will be the condition that we want for this specific question. So once you're done, hit save. And this, this is going to pop up right here. And again, it's kind of saying this question will be displayed if the answer to this question is Netflix. So when you're using any kind of logic in your survey, whether it's a skip or display logic, make sure to preview the survey and test the logics to make sure they're working properly. And if you do this, make sure you go back in and delete your test responses before launching your survey. So that's going to be it for this video, and our final video will be how to edit a survey in Qualtrics.